that's the other side of being able to connect the dots or connect the notes. That's what I call it. Connecting the dots or connecting the scales, knowing where those pivot points are. Right. Got G, G, G. Uh, Brian says, any tips on connecting scales up and down the neck? Play them in octaves. That's the answer. Octave scales, octave, octave, octaves. If you don't know how to play your scales in octaves, that's going to be the problem as far as connecting them. The modes that this question right here, I'm so glad. I wish I could bring this on the screen. That's the answer to that question. Learn your octave scales. That's, I should be more specific. The two octave, three octave scales, because all that is, is is connecting the modes to each other. OK, connecting the modes, each and every single mode. And, and it, it gives you the illusion that you're playing a big scale. You, you actually are, but you're playing all the modes all the way through. Right. So even for G. I just connected Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian. Like I just connected all of those, like all of those different scales or all of those different modes, but I'm just playing one scale. So that's that's one of my major tips, just being able to play the scale in octaves. That way you won't get lost. So you won't get lost. Right. And also memorizing the notes on the scale, because even when I came up here, I know I have G major there. I know here is my G, right? That's the other section or that's the other side of being able to connect the dots or connect the notes. That's what I call it. Connecting the dots or connecting the scales, knowing where those pivot points are. Right. Got G, 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 G. So knowing where those pivot points are. It doesn't matter where I am on the bass. If I'm trying to play something in G major, starting from here, from that G, now I have this G. That G right there. Now I have this G. But this was my pivot point. This G, I'm trying to think of the line I was playing for. So it's just knowing those pivot points and knowing where the scales are. I'm just mixing up notes, right? So a great exercise, a great practice that you can do is literally play the scale from each pivot point, right? So just think of two notes on each string. Right. Two of the same notes on each string and play the scale from there. Right. We got G. Hey, guys, real quick. Sorry to interrupt, but I have to mention this. If you're serious, only if you're serious about taking your bass playing to the next level, I get tons of questions all the time. Derek, do you have programs? Do you have lessons? Do you have a course? Absolutely. We have everything you need at Bass Nation Academy. We have courses. We have live classes. You have more direct access to me um, to be able to answer your questions and get feedback. We have a video Q&A section. It's a ton of stuff. Check it out for yourself. Link is going to be in the description. Don't want to take too much time away from the lesson. But anyway, had to mention that. Check you guys later. We got our G string. Perfect, right? We got our open G. We have our G here. So that's the two G's on the G string. Boom. D string. That's my G here on the G string on the that's my G here on the D string. All right. Another D or another G. <laughs> that's my other G. All right. So now I got my A string, A string G. Where is my A string G? Right. That's my G here. Um, the A string is tough only because your next G would be up here. So I wouldn't technically say, you know, to, to use that G, but you get the idea. Some people don't even have that G. You get the idea though, right? And then G on the, on the E string. And I will play two octave scales whenever I could. Uh, G here. Anyway, you guys, you know, you get the idea, right? So starting on each note, give me two notes per string where it makes sense, right? Two of the same notes per string where that makes sense. Play them down the fretboard. Not only that, when you're done with that, play not only play the scale, right, in one position, but play it in different positions. You know, that's the first position there. 
See what I mean? So it's not just so redundant when you're playing two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, right? Two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Even though that's a good thing to do, a good thing to start, a good way to start off, I don't want you to only be able to play like that. So first position. All right, when you're comfortable with that, you can play it in fourth position when it, you know, when the time comes or when you can. You know, that's a little bit tougher to do if you're not starting on the G string. Whoops. <laughs> that's tough to play down there uh, the, with the fourth position. But you get the idea, right? I don't, I, I don't want to speed past that, but it, those are some tips um, to be able to learn the different notes. Uh, I call them the pivot points. I probably should call this, even if I do clip this up, the, the pivot point lesson, right? So it's super, super crucial to be, uh, to be able to understand your pivot points, even when you go to do different licks and different scales. Um, Hopefully you got you got the idea, right? 